my name's Jesse Frick, and I own Father Daughter Records. What that entails? A lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of commas. Yeah, it's like ev- anywhere from sort of like more like business overhead stuff, budgeting, sending like offers and contracts to artists, negotiating contracts, all the way down to I run our socials. I do a lot of digital marketing, I like work with the people that run our web store website the only thing i don't do is ship out records anymore which is great because that sucked uh (laughs) lots of hats okay will you tell me a little bit about like the space that you are running this label out of this space is my apartment in san francisco i used to have somebody else that worked here with me covid happened my husband started working from home and now all of his crap is behind me but yeah we have a spare bedroom that uh didn't have too many people visiting us so instead of a guest room we were like office i am an early bird so i'll sometimes like start checking emails and twitter and instagram at like 7 a.m and just start like seeing if there's anything any fires that need to be put out Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I just mainly start the day looking at emails like probably most people do. Mm-hmm. Lots of, like, calls with our artists during the day. Mm-hmm. So, like, team calls where we'll kind of go over strategy for releases or, like, plans for tours. Or- and then I finish my day with more emails. <laughs> <laughs> Big email sandwich. <laughs> this is the main zone right here. <laughs> my my computer where your email is up right now incredible Um, i see my i see my avatar (laughs) yeah so this is a lot of where the magic happens um i drink a lot of water so that water bottle is always there in full Mm -hmm. i like bobbleheads so i got some bobbleheads and some various posters and stuff stuff to remind me of uh some good times Mm -hmm. and then just like yeah a bunch of shit that i had to dust before we started this because (laughs) (laughs) Got some some crystals and stuff, some good mojo, and then I get to look out this window every day, which you can't really see, but I can see the the ocean from my office. Incredible, yeah. Um, and this is like my little like we used to ship merch, so this is like where the merch used okay. to go out. But now it's kind of turned into my makeshift photo studio. Cool. So I was just taking pictures of all this merch. And I got, like, backdrops and stuff. I just bought this, like, fake grass, which I'm really excited about. Very cool. We used to have an intern sit here. No more interns. <laughs> COVID. Yeah. Lots of tchotchkes. I'm from Miami, so we got a dolphins, pennant, some warrior stuff. And then various records and test presses and stuff over here. Cool. That's my, those are my cat's carriers, because this is also a spare bedroom. This is just, like, some of our catalog stuff that I keep here for, like, giveaways or to send to folks. I am a crazy docu- documenter, so I keep copies of everything. Nice. Yeah, and then you just, I just like to look at them on the shelf and yeah. be proud of hard work we put into them. Totally. If we had done this, like, a couple years ago, you would have seen vinyl boxes all over my apartment. So that's not happening. <laughs> anymore um so this is a lot more minimal now there's not like i literally had like a wall of boxes behind my couch and i'm an adult this cannot happen like (laughs) what's the best thing about running a record label getting to work and hang out with a bunch of cool people i mean i think that's the main thing is like just getting a chance to get to know all of these like super creative musicians getting to like i don't know every time we put out a record it's just really exciting because you get to see all the hard work that everybody put into it Mm -hmm. i just went to a record release show for one of our artists last night and it was just like so nice seeing like them be with their fans and their fans like like really connecting with like the new music and so i would say that's the best part also i wear hoodies every day so it's like really (laughs) not have to like dress up 